Anyway, I'm back in the car. It's still Wednesday, July 27th. It's 1.26. Dad is waiting where I normally pick him up from. And that poor guy right there is going to have a very, very bad day. He realizes his car is not where he left it. these poor TSA agent people, right, you know, I don't know where the hell they're parking or where they're going to, but they should have decent options to get to and from work safely without having to cross through this shit every fucking day. It's not fair. I mean, their job is to secure your safety when you go through whatever it is to go on an airplane, and yet their safety is immediately compromised the second they step foot off the property. That's fucked up. You know, and you got all these people with making their fucking protected right turn, you got people making a protected U-turn at the same fucking time. How is that even safe in front of the fucking airport? Tell me that. Huh? I don't even think that is safe. I mean, they had the fucking green arrow shit, and they're like, I'm just gonna wait, and then, no, now they're gonna go when the second they can't. And then on top of that, they're like crossing over the fucking double lines and shit. Fuck the double line, right? Not even marked the proper way, so you could fucking do that shit. And then you got gardeners taking up whatever space might be left in the fucking available area to drive safely. Yeah. I would just rather do without all this green shit if I could. There really isn't a point to it. Again, it's just putting people's lives at risk for the sake of fucking greenery. Then you got fucking trash and shit. I mean, fucking hey, I'm going 30. The speed limit's 25, mind you. I am breaking a law probably, but I am going with the flow of traffic. So it's like, hmm. Right? I mean, come on. 20 mile an hour turn, 25 mile an hour speed limit. And you're lucky if you even can see anything in that fucking change right there. The light adjusts in your eyes. But at least they got one thing right, where everything is a one way. Now, when I first started driving, I really did not like the one way shit. It made life really annoying to drive in places that had it until I learned how it actually helps traffic flow by keeping everyone going in the same direction so they do not collide in a dangerous manner as often. Who'd have thought? Anyway, this is where I usually pick up my dad and I see him right over there. Instant death if you're not on a car. Bicycles are alright though, I guess. As long as you're going the wrong way. Hey, 
He did. ago, I don't know. <laughs> I no, was just, standing at the wrong carousel. Well, I don't know, I'm just saying it's, you know, comparatively speaking, it's... Yeah, well, well, it's Wednesday, I don't know, sometimes day of the week. Same day of time of day, just different day of the week, right? That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah it could Ow. be. Ow. More people Ow. come Thursday. So, are you over by the bank or wherever you want yeah, to go watching. some guy was towed? Yeah, I got the uh, uh, last time I was waiting over there. Yeah. I don't have the air on. Uh, last time I was waiting over there, I got the guy going around chalking people's tires. Right. And then today, I was just hanging out and then you know, just sitting there and I got out of the car, watching him talking and walking, chalking, doing all that stuff. And chatting with him. His name oh, Bill. you were talking to the guy? Yeah, I was oh, talking oh, to the guy. Okay. His name is Bill. <laughs> Go figure. And then, uh, uh, yeah, he was just standing there, and like I heard him over talk about the, the car he was standing next to, and there was like X's in front of it and in the back of it. And he's like, Yeah, that's gonna be towed. And I asked him if I could watch him tow it. <laughs> he's like, Sure. Sure, why not? Yeah. So I sat there and watched so him. So, what's tow it? it? What is it? Like a parking attendant or a cop or a. I don't know. Just a random whatever. Cop? You know, he's your age ish. Oh. He hangs out, chalks people's tires, hey. gets their cars towed. That's the power plant, by the way, for the airport to supposedly prevent blackouts and whatnot, but oh. I don't think that's going to work too well. Why? I don't know, just <laughs> stupid. What? You think there's going to be blackout, or are you no, just I commenting? Just, just commenting on the oh. stupidity of it. I don't know. Spent hundreds of millions generators? of dollars. Is that what you mean? Yeah, in the case of oh, uh, oh. the loss of power grid or whatever. Okay, makes sense. You don't think it'll... Well, I'm just saying you spend all this money and you know you can't really leave the airport. What's the point of spending the money on the airport? Okay. Well, I'm just saying something, you know, shitty happens, right? Yeah. You need a power backup for whatever to run on this shit. Right. None of the lights are going to be working. You're not going to be able to drive your fucking car. Oh, oh, okay. You're not going to be able to use, get on the freeways. Freeways are going to be fucking jammed. You know, there's going to be no way to get the hell out of anywhere. Should well, anything happen? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I understand. Well, depending on how they figured it out, it's not like there aren't any airports like Long Beach and. No, I'm saying there's plenty of little yeah. airports around, but you know, none that you can, you know, fly certain size aircraft into and out of and. A safe enough manner, I guess. Yeah. Well. At least not a. You know, I'm sure they would lift certain regulations leaving here. If something bad were to happen. But so did you read about the power on. thing, or you just? No, I mean I've oh. looked at all the renovation shit that they've been oh, blowing okay. their money on. <laughs> I mean seriously, you spend hundreds of millions of dollars, and like you know, you're driving around, and you see the fucking TSA agents walking around on the streets doing, you know. It's just not cool. On the, oh, you mean off duty? I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. They got a yeah. backpack on and they're not. Yeah, yeah. You know. Well, you said something the one day about them parking somewhere. Yeah, they're way the fuck through. over there. Yeah. You know, a mile and a half away, probably. I don't know. It was pretty yeah. damn far. Yeah. Good exercise. Yeah, but they're on their feet all day. And if they're not, then they're sit in front of a monitor watching people's naked bodies. Yeah, I have yet to be either pat down or imaged. Did you mean you didn't get a second security check because you only bought your ticket like yesterday? No. Although they had they put my laptop through they swatted again it. because... No, they didn't bomb sniff it? Well, I... No, I just... I don't know, I didn't put it in the little bin. Oh, you didn't take it out of your case? Oh, no, I had it out of the case, but I had the case, and then I had it, like, sort of standing up, and the lady scolded me. Ooh. 
said, no, we have to have it flat and put it back. And no big deal, you know, in Tucson, it's like, it's like Long Beach, in and out. And See you later, done. Cayenne. Be safe maneuvers. Thank you very what? much. No, of course, a motherfucker driving around, and this guy's merging over because, you know, Oh, oh I thought you said Diane. Cheyenne. 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 I got it. Cheyenne, 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 Cheyenne. whatever. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I'm making fun of the stupid name. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, you know. Congratulations, you're now on my podcast. 4FDV335. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy it. Anyway. Better than a yeah, fucking suburban than, Indian, I guess. Huh? I'm just saying better than yourself. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. I think you said it's in the 70s, but maybe it's getting warmer in the afternoon. Yeah, I think it'll get warmer, but it was definitely cool when I woke up several times this morning. Obviously, doesn't seem like they're paying attention by the way the reports are coming out. So when we go, mm. yeah, we're gonna get the pain pictures. A little copy of what you do. Yeah. Now to Bernstein, did you get anything back? Or? No, I haven't heard back from him, so I was gonna call him when I get back. Cause okay. I was just woke up like ten minutes late, and I was just kind of. This is a traffic jam. This happens every day, afternoon, it's 1.38. Yeah. As you can see, we're going 22 miles an hour. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. I mean, don't you think it's awesome, Dad? No, I... Okay, Tell me what you think about this. Just what it is. You got millions and millions of people with millions of cars coming and going. And Do they know how to drive their cars? Well, I don't know what's up ahead. It doesn't look like anything. Do they know how to drive their cars? I'd say it's 50-50. Uh, is that safe? No. So then should we be driving our cars? Well, what's the alternative? Automation. Trains. Well, they got trains. They just don't go where everybody wants to go. Because they were ripped up and what was put in place by what business? Well, not these. There was nothing down here. Well, obviously, this place only came up in the last 20 years. Yeah. But at one time, I think they actually went to Huntington Beach. No, they went right. all up and down the main thoroughfares. Every numbered fucking street that has a fucking number like beach and shit, they had trains. They had red cars. Yeah, but I'm saying I, I just somehow remember Huntington Beach, but I don't... Well, maybe when you first came out here, maybe they still had them, I guess, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. They had, I don't think so. I don't know. I'm just saying. Yeah. I don't know. You came out here the, in the uh, late 60s? Yeah, to yeah. live. Yeah. Pretty sure they were gone. The um, oh, I was. It's funny you said that. I was thinking because there's a. Remember when the cows were up here? It's again. Remember when the cows and stuff were up here? Well, I mean, I remember when this wasn't here. Yeah. So I mean. Wow, that guy's windshield's fucked. Yeah. Maybe that's why everybody was. Uh, no, everyone was stopped because they're idiots and they can't drive. 
anyway, there's you can't a, just not pay attention to what's on the side of the road and keep on moving. They have to pay attention. It's well, that's human different, nature. Different thing. Well, it's the human the, nature um, part that makes driving safe. Anyway. Anyway, there's a Tucson San Diego flight. And I was thinking, San Diego. no, no, but I was thinking about then you walk over to the Amtrak. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Though. But do they have a station in the airport to the, uh, mm, at I, least the main San Diego I, station? I think that there's like a shuttle. Oh, you can Because I did yeah. look at it one time, I can't remember why. <laughs> and then the Amtrak to. Uh, well, the Irvine Delta, station. Irvine. Well, yeah. there's three there's Irvine, Liso. San Juan, I think. Well, that's, yeah, but Santa. I think it's a Liso. And they got the commuter shit that runs all day. The what? The commuter shit during the week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, they're fucking... Boy, they already started. Oh, the house building. Remember we talked to them? Yeah. They weren't grading no. three weeks ago, were they? No. Nope. Irvine wants their money. Yeah. Anyway, maybe that's, you know, I don't know how... Motherfucking truck. Motherfucking truck. Oh, over there. Okay. <laughs> Why, what was he just speeding? Or? Yeah, he wasn't letting me get the fuck over. And oh, I mean, they okay. all gotta slow down and basically stop up here anyway, so. Okay. I'm well, letting anyway. me get off and drive the way. Yeah, it works most efficiently. Yeah, maybe, I mean, again, I don't know what the airfare is or the train. I mean, I'm saying it may be. It's like 30 bucks. Six or one or half of it. Train. Yeah, it was like 40 for me to go from the Irvine to Los Angeles. So oh. I assume it's probably 40 to go the other way from Midpoint. Really? Wow. Does it look stopped up there yet? Uh, mm. no. Not really. Mm. But things can change. Yeah. Anyway, I've had a cup of coffee, two cups of water. Two bags of peanuts and one pretzel. So you're about to become a racehorse? <laughs> oh, something like that. So tomorrow at 10, 10.30, something like that, is that what it What? What? No, it's like 2.45 or something. Oh, oh, all right. But we might get an appointment with Bernstein tomorrow, who knows? We'll call him when we get back. Yeah. didn't tell you you shouldn't be in this lane. <laughs> How do you know she has one? Because I saw it right on her fucking windshield right here causing her to have blind oh, spots while oh. she's driving. You can see it through the... Through my windshields that are clear and I don't have anything obstructing no, no, me but no. the fucking... No, no, no. I didn't know you could look in and see the reflection. That's all. I've never looked up... You never looked in someone's car while you're driving? <laughs> yeah, but not... <laughs> I mean, this shit's horrible now. They fucking took all the lines out because they're going to rip out and expand it and put three lanes that go that way now. Yeah, 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 way to be... How long is it that? Not that long. About a week, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, but still, how many people actually drive this shit every day versus how many people actually care to drive this shit versus how many people are actually driving this shit safely? Wow. Yeah, there's a bunch of different ways you can look at it. Or you can just hit the homeless man on your way off the freeway for a good 100 points. Get value for your money. Well, you should. I mean, they only give you, like, points off on your insurance.
and this guy's getting 1.2 million dollars to uh, essentially about the gas station. Yeah, the gas station. He's getting 1.2 million dollars to basically move 10 feet that way, the whole operation. That way? Yeah, because they have to widen the street one lane. One lane. Oh, 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 oh. Intake. One lane is costing okay, one point. Okay, I got it. I got it. So how? What do you? Obviously, you read it. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have to fucking rip out all the gas tanks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of that is the money lost on his business, not oh, just yeah. the cost of oh, sure. rebuilding, because that was part of the deal. Well, while it's torn up, he's losing less than they can access. That's what I'm out. saying. So they have yeah. to pay the guy off in order to fucking get another 10 feet. Which is ridiculous. I don't know, city should have some kind of eminent domain. Five? Well, I'm sure it does, but they still gotta pay. Fuck them. <laughs> you build your business this close to a thoroughfare, understand that you're gonna have to move eventually. Oh. You can't just add lanes and not fucking expect to fucking whatever. Well, I mean, this is the stupidest fucking piece of shit ever right here. Let's build a two-story operation, throw a dentist up there, and make it incredibly safe to not really get in and out of causing traffic jams on top of this shit right here. And then you got an in and out with no fucking drive through. Yeah. I mean, this mall is just bullshit. It's old. It's been there a long, long time. Yeah, it's been there a long, long time. But you know what? You know who owns the mall now and who owns every other fucking mall around here? No. Simon, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, I know who they are. Yeah. Who are they, Dad? It's a big mall company. I think it's out of Ohio, if I remember right. They own the uh, Mall of America mall of or something. America. Yeah. Well, I don't follow it, but, but I mean, you know, they I got know they got a lot of money, right? Okay. Well, well, I mean, why maybe... the fuck didn't they improve this shit so people can actually get to it safely and enjoy the mall for what it is as a shopping center of sorts? I mean, there's a transit station, there's at least five different places to get your car worked on, but there's only one public transportation access point, and it's way the fuck over here next to my apartment. Yeah, I know. So, what would you advocate? I guess I'm missing. We need trains. We need accessibility. Well, the train... You need trains. Bring, bring the train over here. I'm not saying you need the Amtrak. You need trains. Whether it be a road train, whether it be automation, you need something where people aren't driving this shit and it becomes instantly safe for humans to move around. Because look at this shit. This little fucking ghetto-ass fucking entryway to my apartments. It's not safe for people. You got gates for no fucking purpose that block your view so you can't see pedestrians. Yeah, I know. You know, who the fuck owns this place? Some place in New York? TGM, what in the fuck? Is that what it, like companies in New York? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck they are. I mean, you know, this, this place has only had three different sets of management in the last four years or more that I've lived here. It's fucking ridiculous.